on this episode of the TK Show, we're going to go inside of this cigar box and find Tobacco Beetles. going on everybody this is tk here and on this episode we're going to show you tobacco beetles i'm going to show you tobacco beetles all right tobacco beetles i've talked about it and apparently that episode of that cigar lounge that had tobacco beetles all over the humidor and destroyed the humidor got a lot of views so i got a lot of questions about what they what does tobacco beetles look like and what does the damage look like so here we go so I have a box here. I'm gonna turn the camera around if I can. All right, one second here while I turn this camera around. All right, so here we go. This is a box that I let sit on purpose, over humidified because that's how tobacco beetles um, are, are, are created. Literally, you, for tobacco beetles to survive or to, for tobacco beetles to even um, go through the process, the poop and the larva. Um, they need over humidification. So if your if your um, your box or your humidor, whatever it may be, wherever they store that over humidification would be the perfect breeding from breeding ground for tobacco beetles. So here we go. Here we go, tobacco beetles. So as you can see, looks like a box of cigars, right? Now I'm gonna pick up a cigar. And I'm going to show you what tobacco beetles can do to a cigar and have done to a cigar. There we go. Look at that. So what happened was the tobacco beetles, because of over humidification, was born on the inside and chewed their way out. Look at that. Holes all the way through. Literally th chewed their way out. So that's one, let's go through. This is what happens is, when a tobacco beetle finishes one cigar, they will go to another cigar. One second, what I, what I dig in here. They will go to another cigar and guess what? Do the same thing. Wow, that was a big one, that was a big tobacco beetle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Completely destroyed the cigar. Oh yeah. Let's see if we have another one. Oh, here comes another one. Boom. Woo! So as you can see, this box of cigars, tobacco beetles um, literally destroyed it. They they eat through it like termites come out of the wrapper of the through the I mean literally from the inside all the way out and eat their way out and go through entire inventory of tobacco and destroy destroy your entire inventory so when those tobacco beetles were going all around meaning to the point where they're at birth and flying around from birth to flying around they were i mean in hundreds if not thousands look at the damage look at the damage a tobacco beetle can do to your humidor can do to your cigars so for those people who didn't think that tobacco beetles were a real thing, uh, here you go. You're looking <laughs> at this video. And I actually have, guess what? That's right, tobacco beetles. There we go. Look at that. Those are tobacco beetles, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Let me see if I can get a better shot of it. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Woo. Okay. These are tobacco beetles. If I can zoom in. Look at that. Wow. These are tobacco beetles. Wait, is that one alive? 
Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh shit, I think they're still alive. There's a few in here still alive. Holy smokes. Whoa. Did you see that? Two of them. Two of them are still alive in there. Wow. So, as you can see, um, that, that was crazy. That Two of those tobacco beaters are still alive to this day. Wow. In, in, in this bag. And I purposely, I wanted to test this theory out and purposely had these cigars over, over humidified. And guess what? It gave birth to tobacco beetles and look at that, holes left and right. Holes, look at that. Com the cigar is completely destroyed. So that cigar lounge that was, um, that had the humidor with the tobacco beetles all in it. I mean, everything from Padron, Fuentes, all the top brands, tobacco beetles were all in and out those tobacco um, those cigars and destroyed the entire humidor. So as you can see in this video, please take tobacco beetles seriously. Please take take um, take care of your cigars seriously. You would hate to go through a situation like this. And if you are going to a cigar lounge and you have cigars in your car in your humidor and you just throw it in the back of the car and you realize, okay, I'm just gonna bring it in. The moment you open up that cigar, um, that, that case and you just leave it open and you're smoking without paying attention, you may have a, an over humidified situation and you may be the reason um, a tobacco beetle gets inside of a particular lounge. Think about that. Check your humidor. Check your humidor, check your cigars, look for those tobacco beetles. And people say, well, can we freeze the cigars? I've seen people freeze or heard people put cigars in a freezer and it kills the tobacco beetles. You can still smoke your cigar. Uh, well, you know what? Good luck with that. Um, you give it a try and you let me know how that works out for you. Um, I'm not testing that theory out. You can do that yourself. And I, well, I would love to hear what your feedback is on that. You smoke the cigar that had tobacco beetles in it and you put it in the freezer because someone told you that it freezes tobacco beetles and it's okay to smoke that cigar. Let me know how that works out for you and let us know in the comments what you experienced if you're not too sick. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I bring, listen, I'm, I'm passionate about cigars and I'm passionate about bringing you valuable information that's going to enhance your experience with the cigar situation in any in it, anywhere in the world. I love what I do. I love bringing passion. Um, I love. Uh, I do have my passion um, for this industry uh, off the charts. I don't know what it is. It just came to me years ago, and, and I've been hooked ever since. So I will bring you more intense videos. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following. Share the video. Let everybody know. Hey guys, TK got tobacco beetles on his show. <laughs> Spread the word. I love it. But I'm gonna close this up and you know what? I'm gonna let it sit for a few more months. And I just wanna see what happens. I'm gonna put this back in the case here. Close, turn around here. I'm gonna put these scars back in the case here. And I just wanna see what happens. I just wanna see what happens in a few months and who knows? Who knows? That's the whole point of doing experiments, right? We're, we're, we're gonna find out. Um, what happened so anyway listen i love what i do i wanted to make sure i drop this video because i know you guys are like what do tobacco beetles look like and what can they really do to a cigar so imagine if they did that to that box imagine what they could do to an entire human door so before you leave the house or before you go to another cigar lounge you may have a human door that's infected yourself double check um don't bring it into that cigar lounge if that's the case because that's going to be a really bad turnout like this one um and it's important or for not only individuals, but cigar lounges, um, cigar anything. Check your humidor. Check your cigars on a weekly, on a monthly, um, quarterly, hell, me, daily. Check your cigars. Um, this is an industry that I love with all of my heart. And I just love to provide education 
and the world of cigars that's going to assist you in having the best experience possible. Big announcement coming up um, about my new project and my new venture in the cigar industry. So anyway, listen, I love you all. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting me all of these years. Uh, new video coming out. Get ready for it. Well, watch out for those tobacco beetles, all right? Enjoy your cigars. Peace.